up the last batch and what I've been using is coconut, the ground coconut coir stuff, um, sand, some soil amendment which with it, which is mostly just like a really finely ground charcoal. Uh, we used peat moss, some sphagnum moss, um, and an orchid potting mix. All no perlite. Uh, trying to do a perlite less system. Uh, in this go around, see how that works out. I've added some moss and stuff already, but I'm just about to mix up the last, the last batch. So two more things there. We've got a little bit terrain, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep throwing in some stuff. I gotta do some water changes and whatnot. Um, I am gonna start planting in here. I have a bunch of extra big plants. Thinking that we're gonna let this kind of run for about a week, this whole week, without him in here. And then Saturday, we're gonna go ahead and live stream it. If you're interested, just drop a thumbs up. And we'll do a live stream of him going in Saturday, um, you know, probably around the 10 or 11 o'clock uh, in the morning, a.m. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. That's going to happen. Uh, we'll shoot for earlier. I'll throw something up here if, if times change or something, but I think that'll probably work. So I'm going to go ahead and keep playing with this scape. I've done a couple of things in here. It looks pretty cool. I just needed to add some extra substrate. I ran out. Uh, I can't wait to show you how much of this stuff it took. Okay, so here's pretty much all the substrate. There are 11 bags that I mixed together here, and then I had to go get another filter because while I was testing this and running it, the original one that I had in a box died. So had to go get another one, 15 bucks, not a big deal. All right, well, here's kind of how it ended up. Added a bunch of plants everywhere. I think it turned out pretty good. Got some moss, a couple of fish are in there. Um, they are the offerings for him when he gets put in, so which will hopefully still be Saturday. I'm thinking that that's probably uh, pretty good to go. So here's his high up perch under his heat lamp and that spot right now gets to about 90, 92 degrees, somewhere in that neighborhood. So I'm gonna, when I move him, I'll put the thermostat on there so that it definitely can't go any higher than that. That should be pretty much perfect. It seems to have stabilized the temperatures in the enclosure. 
And now I'm just kind of dialing in the humidity, but keep spraying it down, using some mist every once in a while. It looks pretty good. Alright guys, well that's going to be the substrate part, part two. Don't forget to, oh, there's a stick there. Yeah, I added this other stick in here. Just as something else for him to kind of climb on over here and to discourage him from diving all the way down there. Probably four feet. Don't really want that to happen. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, I will see you guys Saturday. Let's shoot for 10.30. I'm going to shoot for 10.30 Saturday morning. And we'll try to go live and we'll see if uh, we can get him in here successfully and see what, what happens. Alright guys, thanks a lot.